I'm about to share with you the secrets and tips on how Performance Max campaigns actually work. And I've been able to spend over $2 million just testing out different Performance Max campaign strategies across my own brands, as well as client brands under my Google Ads agency, Your Marketing, and achieve results like this, a 10x ROAS in the last 30 days, or a 9x ROAS, or a 7x ROAS, all through performance max campaigns alone now we all know that google ads is very famous for constantly changing things however the one thing which never really changes is the fundamental so to scale performance max campaigns to these levels you just saw and to really just make your e-commerce brand successful mostly via performance max campaigns you need to understand the fundamentals and there's two different parts to the fundamentals. Let's start off discussing the first part. Now, when it comes to performance max campaigns, we need to understand how they even came into existence before we can go the extra step of understanding how they work on a very fundamental level. So for those of you that don't know, performance max campaigns actually originally originated from something called the smart shopping campaigns. And those were basically transitioned and transformed into performance max campaigns. And the way that smart shopping campaigns essentially used to work is you got the ability to just add a target ROAS or a target CPA value to the settings and that was pretty much the only difference you had to it there was no assets of any sort that you could add there was still the keyword section which you could look within but everything else was basically a standard shopping campaign so essentially you could think of a smart shopping campaign as a standard shopping on steroids but come performance max campaigns everything changed now pmax campaigns allowed you to add Add a bunch of assets in and it actually took away a lot of the control from you so you no longer had access to the keyword section this was all something decided by google and basically the main reason why google has even introduced performance max campaigns to begin with is so that it could offer you much more than just a normal standard shopping campaign or just a normal smart shopping campaign but this led to further problems now 90 percent of e-commerce owners didn't even know what performance max campaign is or how it's supposed to work and this was by the way me as well for a very long period of time hence why i had to spend two million dollars just testing them out so in reality you want to think of a performance max campaign a pmax campaign as a smart bidding based system that uses a lot of the internal data to become smarter and as a result get you more customers so there's a lot of things which it determines on its own things such as the bid that you should be bidding per product things such as the keywords which it should be ranking for even things such as the product pages or landing pages that it should be showing and whether it should focus more on search campaign side of things or if it should focus more on shopping side of things so besides the assets that you add and besides the products that you add to a pmax campaign there is very little input that you can actually add to a pmax campaign directly and this ultimately brings us to the main question of this video how are performance max campaigns influenced and in reality how do they even work so this all goes back to the point of fundamentals. You want to understand that a performance max campaign is entirely based on your fundamentals, your landing page, the product image, the product SEO in terms of titles and the descriptions, how you optimize your Google Merchant Center feed is. Because essentially what these do is these provide signals to per the performance max campaign algorithm of who your perfect customer is and who interacts the most with your brand this is not really something a normal standard shopping campaign had the ability to do at this level and at this scale but that's only 50 percent of the equation the rest of the 50 percent of the equation which is part two is more of the front end side of things meaning the google ads dashboard side of things now this is where how you set up a performance max campaign really makes the biggest impact things such as the bids things such as the budgets things even such as the country that you target the quality of the assets these are all things which make up the second part of the equation and which determine how your performance max campaign really is going to function and no this does not mean that you should be setting the lowest possible target ROAS so that you can scale the most or not even setting a target ROAS at all and this also definitely doesn't mean that you should have the highest budgets in fact I would even say part one of the equation which was the back end side of things it has about 70 percent to 80 percent of the influence on your results
results that you get from a Pmax campaign, whereas the second part only has about 20% to 30% of the influence. Because keep in mind, these are settings that you do with a performance max campaign. These are just like icing on top of the cake. Of course, you need to have the right target row as set. You need to have the right budget set. All of those things are very important. But if part one of the equation is missing, your Pmax campaign will always struggle. So what you want to understand is too much freedom for Google's algorithm is a clear sign to Google that you want the platform to spend as much of your ad budget as possible, which is not a good thing because then the performance max campaign algorithm will actually try to go out and reach a very broad audience. And in the process, you might actually end up completely lowering your target ROAS. So what you want to be doing on, I want you to focus on the quality of the campaign versus the quantity side of things, meaning the bids and the budgets. Because ultimately the way that performance max campaigns really works is it takes all of these two parts of the equation jams it together within its system and understands how your ads are performing compared to your competitors and how your ads are performing compared to how your own performance was seven days ago, 14 days ago, 30 days ago. And if it sees that you are improving with your own performance and if you're outdoing your competitors with all of these two parts of the equation combined, that's when scale is achieved with performance max campaigns. This is the exact ideology we have been using to scale all of the brands, not only my personal brands, but also client brands under my Google Ads agency, your marketing, which if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go onto my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But I want you to watch this video right here on how to hack this Google Ads algorithm so you can actually get it on your side and scale your brand to the next level the right way.